Duro, and uh, it's great to, to be hanging out at Redeem, um, one of the newest clothing stores in Washington, D.C., and uh, I think it was about eight months ago that you sent me an email, and uh, you, you said that you were going to chase a lion, and <laughs> sure enough, here we are. I have just walked into, for the first time, one of the coolest clothing stores I've ever seen. Um, Tell us, tell us about the genesis of the dream for Redeem. There was a time, it was actually at a catacombs uh, years ago, it was probably two and a half years ago now. We were at Nation and we were just totally in this amazing state of worship. He just put in my mind, I just had this vision of me in this store. And it just kind of happened and um, it was so real and it was so like, kind of like that epiphany that hits you, like, why aren't I doing this? You know, this is something I've always wanted to do. Why? It just didn't make sense why I hadn't pursued it before. I always had this sort of quiet peace that it would happen, and that assurance in, in him and in the dream. There was always, my flesh was always trying to sabotage it. I, I just, uh, you know, I walked into the store and I noticed the floors, you know, the, the slate stone, the, 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 uh, the stained wood, um, the, the redeemed bookshelves and mirrors and the walls and there is intentionality in every inch of this space. Um, that says to me that this is a vision that had been in you for a long time. Um, tell us a little bit of that chronology of vision. With this space, which I hadn't, it was, you know, sight unseen and I mean, the, even the windows were bricked up. When I came in, I loved it, but I had, I couldn't see it. Even up until the point where we started, even when we were doing construction, I couldn't, I felt like I had this, this creative block. And just as in every process, you know, the whole timeline of, of you know the vision turning into reality, um, I just prayed for creativity from the Lord. Like Lord, what is your vision for the space? Because I, I can't see it. You know what I mean? And and I, you know, I can't take any credit for it because there was things. You know, when we took the drywall down, the way that the plaster looked, and just like everything was perfect. And He just He brought the vision together. And I mean, some of these pieces in the store I bought a year ago, just because you know. And that's totally Jesus. Like. It's silly to think that, you know, God help me pick out a bookshelf, <laughs> but it's the perfect bookshelf. You know, everything is, is perfect, even down to the color of the stand on the floors. People love it. People just respond to it, and they don't know why. They're like, redeem, what's this? You know, and they walk in, and they're like, is this where I find redemption? And they don't even know what they're saying, you know, really. <laughs> it's awesome. Like, there was a moment when you signed the lease for this place, right? I don't ask you how much it was, but when you sign that lease, you are taking a financial risk and kind of putting it all on the line and um, with really no guarantee of ever selling a single item. I mean, what, what was it like? What were you feeling when you signed that lease for this space? <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of, it was, you know, Lord, this, it's all you. I mean, that was sort of the, the leaping off of the, the precipice because, you know, every, every, all of our, I'm the personal guarantor. So if it doesn't work, you know, you know, my husband and I stand to be completely wiped out. So that was, that, yeah, that was a pretty big moment of signing that line and going, Okay. I called my mom up, told her, make sure that, you know, you know, we could be moving in with you at some point. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're just going to believe it's going to happen. What are some of the lessons that you've learned that you might share with other people? Going in with your eyes wide open, knowing that, you know, 
you, you know, you've got the Lord and you've got security in the Lord, but there's also, you're dealing with the world and um, people aren't always honest and people, you know, don't always tell you the, the full story. So pray a lot and ask for wisdom and discernment because, uh, yeah, there's lots of stuff. I mean, you can't know everything, so just kind of pray for, for the wisdom and for God to give you those skills. <laughs>